Welcome to Coaching Uncut, a special series on the Unstoppable Woman podcast, where I take you behind the scenes and give you a peek into the private coaching I do with my clients. All of these coaching calls have been recorded with the permission from my clients who have generously allowed me to share these with you as a way of helping more people in this world. They give you access to master level coaching and the opportunity to learn the lessons that they're learning right along with them. Please keep in mind that these recordings are not studio productions and the audio quality may be less than ideal, but the content will take you far and help you become unstoppable. With that, listen in and learn. Hello hey there. <laughs> How are you? Oh, fine. Did you read my email? I did. I responded this morning, but oh, I didn't a few see it. Ago. Yeah. Okay. That, Maybe you can tell me what you said in your email. Uh, yes, this is heartbreaking. Yes, you'll get through it, and let's talk. That's what okay. I said. Yeah, you okay. didn't miss much. Okay. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm just dropping my child off. Okay. Let me just open up the door for her. No, Patty, no. have a great day. Mama will pick you up at 12, okay, Mama? Yes, I did already. Uh, love you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's talk. Let me pull over to slightly safer space. And, um, yeah, so I just kind of, like, I've been kind of processing it over, you know, whatever, since I learned about this at 11 o'clock yesterday morning. And, um, you know, I have kind of come to the resolution that she's, you know, I'll just have to find somebody else to replace her. So it goes, you know. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. So here's the thing. You love her. She's done great work for you. She's been a valuable uh, team member. You rely on her, and you want the best for her, okay? Yeah, yeah. And um, we don't truly know what this other opportunity is that she's uh, gravitating towards. Cryptocurrency is is the rage. I don't know a lot about it. Uh, some people speak very highly of it. And it seems outside of her wheelhouse, given that she's been working as a landscape designer with you for quite a bit of time. Mm -hmm. But the draw of making money quickly is very enticing for people. Mm -hmm. And that may be what's going on. I, I don't know. We're not in her head, okay? Right. But that there's a there's a quality of a a bit of a get rich quick concept going on there, from what I gather. And you know, there might be a Plus lot of people the, getting rich. I I don't uh, I don't well, know her, enough. You know. Her fiance. I just found out like last week that her fiance had started this crypto. I mean, I knew he had his own business because she put him underneath her health insurance. Right. Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, he started his own business. We're really excited. It's going really well, blah, blah, blah. And then last week was the first time. Well, not last week because he was on vacation last week. It was the first time she said, yeah, he's doing cryptocurrency stuff. And it's like, he's so busy. He's overwhelmed. And then so that was two weeks ago was the first I even had heard of that, you know? So, I yeah. I think I'm kind of like, and then she's also getting married in September. You know, they decided to get engaged and get married like really quickly. And, you know, they've been living together forever and have bought a house together. And so it's just. Uh, so this is not, this is not your, your world to butt into. She gets to be her own decision maker. Right. Right. Now, exactly. the. The the thing that you do need to do is you need to do whatever you can to help your business, okay? And right. sure enough, 
having a little bit more lead time would certainly help your business quite a bit versus just two weeks notice. So, you know, there's, there's a couple of tactical things that I want to give you. And then there's a, a bit of a mindset piece. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is, it, is actually the more critical piece. So, mm-hmm. so I'm going to start with that. And I want you to really take this in. This is the best thing that could have ever happened to you. Okay. It doesn't right. feel like that right now. It feels like shit. Okay. Right. It feels like how is my business going to survive without this woman who's such a linchpin in my in my business, right? Who's helped me so much. How am I going to actually survive? And you will, okay? I promise you. You will actually if if you take the attitude that this is the best thing that could happen to you rather than the worst thing that could happen to you, uh-huh. you, you will actually use it as a stepping stone for improving your business, to grow your business, to make it better. The, the universe is always for you, okay, unless you think it's not, in which case you go down a rabbit hole of despair, Okay. Right. But but if you look at this and recognize that the universe is always for you, so how is this helping me? Right? What could mm-hmm. this lead to? And it inevitably leads to better team, better people, higher level people who can do more for you. Okay? Can help you grow your business at a higher level. Yep. Okay? Yep. And it and it it will it will grow you in the sort of how you support your team and what's required for that side of things, okay? Mm-hmm. As a as a manager, all of those things. So we don't know until you go through this how it how this is helping you, but it is, okay? You just need to mm-hmm. know that and stick with it. Mm-hmm. Then, from a tactical perspective. This is a sales conversation with her. I don't know if you've actually had more than – I know you had one conversation with her, but then it sounds like everything else was via email. Right. And I, this is a conversation you're going to want to have in person with her, okay? And like any sales conversation, you have to get at what she really wants, okay? What is it that she really wants? Does she want to make her – fiance happy? Does she want to make more money? Does she want to be in partnership with him? And that's more important than anything else. You can't solve that problem. Okay. And like any good salesperson, you got to know, okay, I can't deliver on that. Okay. That's that, if, if that's what she wants, that's not the problem that I'm solving. But if she wants something else, and, oh, very loud. sorry, sorry, sorry. I, li- I live in a city. <laughs> I understand. I'm just going to pause for a moment. No. It's, if she wants something else that you can deliver on, mm-hmm. then that's a place where you can work together. I would, I would have the conversation about why is it that all of a sudden they need you to start now. And can you reverse the intention and give me more attention and then less attention, right? Like just have that conversation from a loyalty perspective, okay? And, And like you have to do this without it being manipulative, but from a right, yeah. karma, a karma perspective too. Okay. Like mm-hmm. don't, don't burn this bridge. Don't, don't, don't be that kind of person. Okay. Now mm-hmm. you also have to acknowledge that industry standard is two weeks notice. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. But it is two weeks notice. And the the one of the things that I think this is calling forward in you is like redundancy on your team, okay? So that you're not caught in a such a hard situation replacing her. Right. Um, so I would look at sort of like what does she want? How do you help her get that? Right? What would need to shift? Can sorry. That's okay. 
can she can can she adjust is you know what's the pressure that's being put on her right now can she adjust and um and sell her on staying okay for for two more weeks that's all you're asking okay so sell her on the idea of staying for well, you had asked for eight uh, weeks, but you know, I was, that have given me a two week notice and to stay on in two more or two more weeks beyond that. Yeah. You know, if she can't do eight weeks, which is what you really need, like sell her on staying on full time for four weeks. Can she can she do that? Do the work here and work for the other biz. For four right. weeks, okay? Like, it will right. be a 60, 80-hour week for her. You get that. But from a loyalty perspective, right, can she do that? So how, do, how do you talk about that without speaking to, you know, and to the loyalty thing? You know, like, how do you speak about it without saying? Because I feel a little bit like when you say, in order for you to be loyal to me, you, you know, I'm asking you to stay for two more weeks. Like, how do you talk about it without it being manipulative? manipulative. And, yeah. Yeah. I think you, you just get really honest with her and you say something along the lines of, you know, we've had a really long working relationship and that I have greatly respected and come to rely on. And I hope that that's been the same for you as well. And I completely respect and appreciate your desire to to change. It's you know your whole industry. It's a little confusing for me. I won't I won't you know uh, tell you it's not. But that's that's absolutely your your life, your decision, your de- your desire. And I'm wondering if we can have a conversation about the like keeping the depth of this relationship going while allowing you to step forward into what you want. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. I think that sounds, I like the way that sounds. Um, it's not guilt, but it's acknowledgement. Okay. Right. I, right. It, it's like, let's, Let's say, you know, you're pointing out that you have relied on her. You're pointing out that it is a deep relationship, that it's not just a paycheck and that it means something beyond just a paycheck and that you would – Can I – yeah. when, when you read that email that she embedded, that I embedded in the email to you from her – it, it and the way that she spoke to me to give me notice, it sounded really confused and like she's articulating really strong boundaries, but out of a place of um, I want to say out of a out of a place like these are my boundaries because they have to be my boundaries kind of thing. So it's more Yeah, of, you know why you know why she's doing that? Yeah. Cuz she knows that she's fucking you over right now. Okay? Right. And she feels guilty over it. Right. Not because she's a bad human being, but at all. No. But she's torn between two things. One being loyal, being considerate, being a you know, someone who doesn't Um, facilitate a crash and burn of a business, like all of those things, right? Stress, you know, being the person she's been for the last, I don't know, what is it, three, four years? Okay. Four, yeah. Four, four, okay. And the security and love that comes from being in a relationship with her fiancé and what that all means. I mean, you and I have done so much work on loyalty packs and on like the things we do to stay safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she's caught between two desires and, and like the sales conversation is about helping her reconcile those desires. 
Right. Does that make sense? It's yep. and and like to really take an and more perspective on this. Mm-hmm. And and I would acknowledge that, you know, I, I read your email and it, and it was it clear that you wanted to, like, make a statement about what was and wasn't available. But are you willing to have a conversation with me, so I, I have a better understanding, right? And then you can have the conversation with her. That's a that's a permission and that's an acknowledgement and a permission question. Super important. I'm writing this down. That's why I'm silent. Um, I'm recording this. Would you like me to send it to you? Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Okay. So this so so now let's work on your heart. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. Cuz you have the mindset piece and you have the tactical piece, right? Which is you need to have a conversation with her and and figure out a a good way forward. And let me add a few more things to the tactical piece before we move on to heart. You need to. You're having a conversation with a landscape person today, so that that's good. Um, you need to ask her if she if you haven't asked her already for um, people she might know. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you have to activate on a higher level where you 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 know this that there's when you put a demand on the universe, you get what you want. Okay. And and I understand that sometimes it doesn't happen in the time period that you want, but that's where urgency comes in. Like you've wanted a landscape architect, but you right, have, it hasn't right. been urgent. Okay, now we have urgency right. here. Okay, and because you have urgency, you're going to find the ways and the means to address this issue. And you need to do that every time you have the idea. I'm going to do this. I could do this. You need to go do it, and it and it's massive action. Okay, it's like reaching out to your network, everyone you know, placing ads everywhere, um, reaching out to all your past students, reaching out to the people at George Washington University that you may not have talked to recently, like the whole sh- shebang. Okay, mm-hmm. talking to other people um, in the biz, seeing if they have anyone who wants to do freelancing, right? Doing that upwork stuff that we talked about, okay? Right. Like it just is going to force it's going to force you to work, like work the whole thing. Okay. 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 So so then, heart. How do you feel? Uh-huh. At this moment, I feel really good. I. I mean, I feel, like, aware, like I have all my spider sympathies up sort of thing. But um, I feel, like, very committed to being in a place of, like, what you were saying, like, um, this is really a gift. This is really, you know, what was supposed to – this is what was supposed to happen. Um, and I am conscious of saying to the part, the little part of me that says, oh, I want to be resentful, oh, I want to be angry, all this stuff. And I don't want to feed that at all. I feel very much like, you know, I'm really, you know, if if I just sit with it, like I'm really happy for her that she's getting this deeper understanding, or you know, that she's moving in a direction of being committed with her fiancé and da-da-da-da-da-da-da and making more money and all this stuff. And I feel really okay with that. Last night, I was just exhausted and tired, and I was having difficulty sleeping, so I kind of, like, took, I don't know, Advil PM or something, and I slept in, and I took a bike ride this morning, and I breathed deeply, and I reached out to my my mastermind sisters and all that, and I feel like, I feel like, Like, okay, this is just what it means to be in business sometimes. You know, the is leaving at the end of the month, and now is leaving at the end of the month or in two weeks or whatever. And I I feel like 
wow, this is a shit ton more, like, I don't feel, like, so much resentful, but I'm like, fuck, you know, like, how am I going, how am I going to um, squeeze out enough time in the day to do what needs to be done, you know, because we're, we're hopping and bopping, you know, and so that's, that's how it, that's how it is, so I just feel like it's, like, last night I was feeling just and exhausted in the day I feel like okay I've got my kid off at dance I'm having my conversation with Mira I'm going to the job site I'm going to sit and do my work you know like that I just have to take the day as I take the day so. yeah great I love it this is resilience right yeah this is this is and a great attitude word, yeah this is the word that kept coming to me during my bike ride today yeah yeah resilience. yeah so what I want you to do is everything we talked about, I want you to stay in that resilience. If you get stuck, obviously reach out to me, okay? Like, don't hold back. And and you're going to do great, and you're going to move past this, through this. I shouldn't say past this because it's not a bypassing. It's like right. you're going you're gonna to move through this and yeah. and be in such a better place and stronger for it afterwards, okay? Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, All great. Right. Awesome. Okay. Um, I got your text about talking to uh, somebody yes. uh, that you're interested for the oh, who's interested in the VIP day. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can do that, but I only have really limited windows of of when I'm available to do that. Okay. Just Absolutely. I, so I can text you the times that I'm available to do that, but. Um, uh, yeah. So that's do you want to text me the times, or do you want me to just put you in touch with her and have and let her know that you have limited availability? Um, why don't I? Just, I'll I'll just I'll just text you, okay? Okay, and that's then, fine. Um, and then you can have her reach out to me, okay? Okay, when, that's fine. When, what time works best for her, okay? Okay. 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 Sounds great. Okay. Thanks, Mayor. Okay. Bye. You're welcome. Take care. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us for Coaching Uncut. If you loved what you learned today, please leave us a comment and let us know. We always love a thumbs up or a five-star review, so thank you in advance for that. And if you want to take your life and your business to the next level and it's time to scale, please reach out to us and schedule a consult at theunstoppablewoman.com slash next level. So that's theunstoppablewoman.com slash next level. See you in the next episode, rock it out, and be unstoppable.